I see a ladder yonder, but we can't reach it from here. We'll have to get up there and drop it down. I'd wager there's ought to be found here. Let us ponder how best to proceed. We're setting out. Jump on if you're paid. No? Very well. It is your decision. We're setting out. Jump on if you... We're setting out. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. We're setting out. Jump on if you're paid. We're setting out. If our destination is a distant one, my talents lie in combining materials, and I'll use those in my... luck we need a Seems we drove them off. You've my thanks for aiding us. Vernworth isn't far from here. Will you join us the rest of the way? All right. Into the ox cart, then. I was informed that your coming would be arisen. Captain Brandt, this individual summoned a pawn through a rift stone. Several witnesses can attest to it. Though I admit I had my doubts at first. It would seem this is no mere deceiver. This one's not a bad sort. Saved our hides on the way here. As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. That arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed, he is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. 
I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Then you have truly lost your memory? In that case, mayhap I ought to explain the situation before we proceed. You, and no other, are the sovereign, the only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. Some days passed, you confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you became arisen. The people rejoiced, for our true liege had finally appeared, and in Vermont's long years of council rule, yet not all celebrated your coming. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Gisa of everything. During the time of the previous council, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the council's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place, word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, your majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct your majesty while you recovered from your wounds, in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the sovereign in your stead, a mere puppet. However, with your majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Deesa plays her games. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in the tavern that we might discuss them. This one's cleared of all suspicion and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear? Pray forgive me, I'm in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> Consarn it! Get back here! You there! Did you see an urchin in a cap run past just now? Can you tell me which way he went? Many thanks. I'll catch that wretch yet. You're a kind one, aren't you? It would seem I am in your debt. In fact, there's aught I would ask of you if you've the time to spare. Aha! There you are! Oh, apologies, but our chat will have to wait. Till next we meet. Farewell. In every age, when the Arisen felled the dragon and saved the land, they ascend to the throne as sovereign. Hence, horns are treated with respect, as a matter of course here in Vermont, for their peerless loyalty to the Arisen. Not to mention, they are skilled combatants, willing to brave any foe or peril upon command. Tis clear their concept of life and death differs crucially from our own. No mortal can match their dedication.
This ladder can take us to new heights. I've a knack for gathering items, and am ever on the hunt for new finds. Where to next, Arisen? I'm not sure I've any idea. That looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? Have I seen you around? You'll have to do well to beat today's gossip. I heard a rumor that this land was once a kingdom of bistrons. Truly? Quite, though no definitive records remain. Take it easy today.
Look, Master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. Interested in my wares? Pleasure doing business with you. Nothing caught your eye? Oh, that's a shame. Let's hope there's aught worth our coin next time. Gold is a resource best spent judiciously. Are you certain you're happy to have me along? I dare say. I've accomplished a few feats to be proud of, at least. I hope I can count on you in a scrape. I've a knack for gathering items, and am ever on the hunt for new finds. I'll gl-
just remembered a curious rumor I overheard once. Seems there's an illness pawns can catch beyond the rift that has devastating consequences for those around them. Worse still, the pawn never knows they're sick. They just become restless and flippant and won't heed the arisen. Indeed. Well, we shall have to remain watchful, lest one of our company should start showing signs of this sickness. Welcome to the Star Drop Inn. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to sit back, relax, and enjoy the finest brews? Your Majesty, your timing is impeccable. I just thought to call for you. Tis not a matter for prying ears. Pray, let us speak out here. As I informed you when last we spoke, the palace is filled with the Queen Regent's sycophants. Should Deesa denounce your majesty as a false arisen, few would elect to doubt her. Yet if we are to prove your identity, I believe there is no occasion more suitable than the coronation. It was delayed so that the sovereign, that is, the false arisen, could convalesce in the palace. But the date has now been set. The central players in the court ought all be in attendance. It would be a fine opportunity to display your majesty's power. None would be able to deny that you are the true arisen then. There is a problem, however. Entry to such an event is limited to the chosen few. Only select members of the nobility and citizens who have contributed greatly to Vermont's continued prosperity will be granted entry. If your majesty is to be counted among them, you will need to attend to a number of tasks. Pray, allow me to summarize them for you. The citizenry have called upon my soldiers to cull monsters that plague the land. I dare say, it would be a fine contribution were you to accomplish these tasks or needed. What say you? Might I ask for your cooperation in this matter? I thank you, your majesty. There are three locales that I've seen significant trouble of late. The first is Trayvon Mine, to the northwest. We've had reports of goblins swarming in great numbers. Next is Half Village, west of Burnworth. I believe soldiers have already been dispatched to call an infestation of Saurians there. Finally, there is a call for someone to locate a group of soldiers tasked with delivering freight. They were last seen crossing the second bridge on the eastern edge of Vermin. Tis our duty to bring the beasts low. Oh, I can scarcely wait to see what we'll discover along the way. Tis a ladder. Shall we see where it leads? Might as well take a look while you're here, eh? Many thanks. Need anything?
Stop by again soon. Good evening, sir. I trust you fared all right on the roads, despite the hour. Much obliged. The rules at your left. Greetings. Welcome to the Guild Hall. Here we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. If there is aught I may assist you with, simply say the word. Forgive me, but I'm afraid we are not accepted. You see, 
as we currently have no archer staves or greats, and we cannot simply purchase more. As a delivery of arms intended for the local, so regrettably I can. Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? Methinks Roderick will be able to tell you all. He runs the local armory. May fortune smile upon you, sir. Where ought we to begin our search? Welcome to Bjorn's and quality is what you need if you want to survive. So if we hope to see you again. These writings could be of import. Let's have a look then. Oh, um, yes, uh, I, I possess no ill intent, I, I assure you. Uh, I, those of other races differ so in design from our own, you see. I cannot deny I am curious about them. That's all it is, mind, uh, curiosity. I have no desire to actually own one of these contraptions myself, uh, and even if I did, it isn't as if I could purchase one. It would be unseemly for an elf to aspire to such a thing, no matter how they fascinate me. It isn't to be. Oi, friend! Klaus sent word that you've agreed to rescue some of my pilfered equipment! I'd be grateful for aught you can reclaim. True. Fair warning. Goblins are behind these ox cart raids, I've since learned. No doubt they're hoarding the stolen arms in their den, from the tell of it. Their lair lies somewhere along the western road. Pray do be careful. I if aught were to go awry, it would weigh heavily on my heart. Losing my wares for good would make me sore. But no sack of gold can compare to a fellow life, eh? most exhilarating to hand over such a sum. These foreign bows do so intrigue me, but I shall admire them from afar. You would simply give this to me? Oh, that is most generous. I would gladly accept it. Uh, you have my gratitude. Fascinating. Tis not dissimilar from an elven bow in make, and yet tis unlike one in near every respect, such as this bowstring. It looks quite the same. But the tension is altogether different. I suppose that, that comes from using different materials. Well, why do you stare? Perhaps you find it absurd that I should marvel so at a bow not of elven make. I suppose I sought inspiration, for I, I confess I find myself rather lost. My aim has suffered of late, 
such that my wayward arrows simply would not strike true, the timing could not be more unwelcome, as my skill with a bow is to be put on trial anon. Forgive me. I should not expect you to know of our ways. I, I speak of the trial of archery, a time-honored elven custom. Every elf undergoes this trial when they reach maturity. Till we succeed, we are not considered to have come of age. I have been training most diligently, yet my skills ne'er seem to take shape. Indeed, I fear my aim has only worsened with each new failing. I grew so vexed with myself that I sought to learn a foreign form of archery rather than master my own peoples. Thanks to you, I now have the means to do so. Though I dare say I shan't make any headway on my own. Say, would you be willing to give me a demonstration? It might be just what I need to find my aim. Please, sir, you give to me this bow. I only ask that you show me how to wield it. Many thanks. I'm indebted to you twofold, but this is no place to practice. Would you be so kind as to meet me by the ruins north of Trevo Mine? That's where I train, you see. I'll be able to concentrate on your display of bowmanship much better there. I do hope you'll join me. For now, I shall bid you farewell. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. Now there's a worthy prize. If only to work so far away. Greetings. Welcome to the here we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocation. If there is aught I may assist you with, always a pleasure. As you wish, I shall return directly. of you. What a pity. We would have pulled it off but for that misstep. I'm a goner. All you need of me. Take that from you.
Good evening, sir. I trust you fared all right on the... Roads, despite the... Uh... You know where to find me. Oh, what luck! Tis a chest. Let us hope your curiosity will be rewarded. Treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Greetings. You seek guide. You need only make a worthy offering in exchange. It is lovely to see you. Wish me to return at once, Master. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. I say we collect as much as we can carry. Is here that the bodies of those who fall in vermin are first kept and tended to. I beg you to conduct yourself with care and with a reverence befitting of one who walks. You are more than welcome to return. Must you run so fast? I can hardly keep you in my sights arisen. Let us endeavor to keep up. Though we are less fleet of foot. Now, how best you see it? This is generally used as a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Well, 
Mac. Good evening, sir. I trust you fared all right. Getting proper rest is an important duty. We purchased all that we require. We ought to review the contents of our packs, just to be sure. I knew that there was something in the bag. Like what to make of this? Yeah, more than my life's worth, this. Too many materials. I'll harvest some now. Tis a glad thing we rested when we did. Try not to get hit, lest all that vim go to waste. I said sting is yours to wield. Wager I could make that shot. You cut quite the hunter's figure. Yon chest lies maddeningly close. One could almost think this was done to vex us. Your weapon and that is boom.
over so soon? Why, we seem to have come through unscathed. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. Try not to get hit, lest all that vim go to waste. <laughs> I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up.
ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. Did anyone else see that? Ort catches the light. We ought to take a closer look. Oh, -ho! I'd not have thought we'd find one here. Our collection grows. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. Here. Ooh. There are secrets around every corner. I have a feeling it's best left untraveled. Are there anyone? slip away from us I think I get the idea here you are master I hope you like it I found it myself that looks promising any ideas as to how we might reach it
Speaking of which, look how many women we count among our number. And yet no two of us are the same. Suppose there can be no harm in bringing this along. We'll follow his approach. We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. Think nothing of it. Splendid. Ice's sting is yours to wield. I'll harvest what I can, should it please you. Think of it. Different masters favor different pawns. One whom I served preferred to have bistrons for allies. You've given me much to think about. The creature's corpse will serve us well. I look forward to seeing your marksmanship. What is the meaning of this? Look! Master, a treasure chest! We shall have to find a way to reach it! to put our feet up if we've a tent with us the sun has yet to set we could rest here now or press on a while longer
I've got wares of every ilk. Pleasure doing business with Oh, it takes two to make a sale. And this seller had nothing to tempt us with. Our funds are better spent elsewhere. My nose tells me there's aught close by. I'll have a look. Be sure not to overlook anything. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. Watch where you're going. You'll hurt yourself one of these days. Oh, don't mind me. These things happen. Cabin's depths lie ahead. Onward. Stop faster! Goblin! <laughs> One might confidently call that a resounding victory. Well, I'm sure there's still room for improvement. It is hard to find my footing in this darkness.
got a good feeling about this one. Let us try for the same result with our next attack. Look, Master, a chest. Boy, do that. If you fit so far, give us a hand. Right, lend us your aid. Scatter the goblins! Task is complete. I like nasty creatures, aren't they? But they'll not bother us again. You've a strong arm. The goblins are well routed. You have my thanks. Twas a simple patrol mission. Till we walked into their ambush. Those cursed things caught us entirely unawares. I don't know where we'd be if you hadn't come along. I pray you'll let me repay the favor if ever there's a chance. Treasure chest. I can hardly wait to open it. Not all chests contain treasure, you know. Whenever I see so much as a gleam of treasure, I cannot help but want to claim it, however far it may be from our goal. I expect that's a common occurrence in our line of work. Tis a relief to be out under the open sky. The air beneath the earth is stifling, to be sure. 
True enough. I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You'll never fall in battle so long as I'm around. I'm only glad to have proven my worth. Please dispense with the formalities. They exhaust me so. <laughs> it seems the rain has abated. It wasn't so bad. We'll be dry soon enough. Now there's a worthy prize, if only to work so far away. I've an inkling this place will yield a rarity or two. Well, well, that's quite a discovery. Thank you, Arisen. A chest. What harm could there be in having a peek? my first time clapping eyes on such an item. I expect my own master has yet to even discover it. I wonder what discoveries await us further in. Be sure to keep your wits about you. 
Shall we report back now? Unless I'm very much mistaken. We've got just what we need tucked away in storage. <laughs> no sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. Early quick gets the worm, as they say. Fear isn't reasonable. Quick, douse the flames! We shall have to crane our necks to spot our foes in a place. Look here. A path. It's safe, I wonder. We needn't go barging in. to make your acquaintance. At last! The moment I've been waiting for. Allow me to gather these up. Prevailed by the skin of our teeth. We ought to consider this a lesson. You'll like to grow overburdened if you keep picking up every little trinket you find. I must ask you to refrain from charging off. Teamwork is the crux of our strategy. 
Don't be such a worry, Wart. I know what I'm doing. thinks we could move this boulder if we work together. A firm push is what's needed here. Never fear, for I am here! The fiend unknown is the most perilous. Remain alert, and naught shall catch us by surprise. Behold, how the stars shine, Master. True enough.
Not like a feast to get you ready for bed. Indeed. Surely we've time for a short kip ere we continue on our merry way.